Hi there and welcome to episode 21 of our Prison Architect Let's Play series. Now, in the previous episode, let's uh, slow this down a bit because we're going to pause after midnight. In the previous episode, we had these boxes here, uh, which contain workshop saw, workshop press and another workshop saw. Now, we had issues with moving these and I've uh, been on Reddit and I've read comments on the YouTubes and everywhere and I've been to the forums and there's mixed opinion on these. Some people say that it's a bug, some people say that it's working as intended and uh, essentially... Uh, what I found is that, well, I think it is 99% a bug because um, I need to wait until this goes over to 12 o'clock so I can pause. Pause. Uh, because I have spent three hours of my time off camera trying to sort out these boxes. Now I've loaded uh, this game and I've loaded the previous episode because, as you may know or may not know, I keep a, a save game per episode. And I've tried multiple different ways to actually move these and the most I've been able to do is actually to move one box individually to somewhere else and it's just, it was very complicated in the way I had to do that. I basically had to shut down the, um, shut down the workshop here, make sure that people were still working there but that had no actual workshop presses or workshop saws in there, just basically package them into the boxes and then when work time rolled over, I had three work, three inmates working in the workshop, and after about 30 seconds, maybe a minute, or you know, 30 minutes, maybe an hour of uh, actual in-game time, uh, they eventually moved one box out into storage. Now, the other thing I did was I removed the storage from outside here, put all the storage inside here, and uh, so that it was all accessible to the inmates but they still only actually moved one box after it was nearly an hour of in-game time. So there's definitely a bug there in terms of moving these boxes. And uh, like I said, it took me three hours of actual investigation to find that. And uh, yeah, fed up with actually trying to fix that now. So uh, in this episode, we're just going to outright destroy these boxes and rebuild from there. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, actually remove these building, remove those there and we're going to remove these boxes and we're basically going to build some new uh, workshop items in here now I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that now that I've actually uh, pressed and dumped the boxes after uh, after I've removed those so it may still think that I've got some in a box so let's have a quick look if I go to my objects so we've got a workshop press there and so if we go to workshop press and put another one down yes it's going to actually buy one for us so let's do that with a saw and a second saw as well and that's good so we've only got 600 left we're going to use that 600 to try and repair some stuff um, in those three hours that I actually spent trying to fix this, um, I have a suspicion that one of these laundry machines is about to blow up one of my workmen as well. Um, so we'll be saying goodbye to him very soon, I imagine. Um, we have no prisoner intake at the moment, so that's switched off. So let's have a quick look and see how many prisoners we would bring in if we brought some in. That would be 22. That's uh, Would we be able to handle 22? We can currently handle 54, um, but that is providing uh, we don't have any holes, which we do. So let's uh, let's fix these holes first, which is in materials. Remove tunnels. So we've removed those, and are there any other tunnels? I'll quickly drag that. Right, there's some in the bottom right-hand corner. So let's just remove those as well. So there's another 60. And uh, let's go to plumbing very quickly because they don't look like they're plumbed in, but that might just be a loading bug. No, they're not plumbed in. So let's very quickly plumb those like that. Beautiful. And we have $400 left with which we can repair some stuff. So let's set this going. Uh, what I'll probably do is uh, time lapse this first day and uh, I'll, s I'll be back in just a few seconds. Enjoy the music.
Okay, so we're coming to the end of our day now. Uh, a couple of things we need to mention is that, first of all, I, uh, I had a mini riot, not much of one, but we actually lost a guard. He's sat there dead at the moment, but he's not really sat, he's, he's laid there. Um, let's slow this down a bit. Let's, let's just go over to midnight here, so we can actually slow this down, and press play there. And as soon as midnight rolls over, as soon as we get our money in, there it is. Our money, and we're getting some money from license plates as well. So uh, hopefully pausing it in the middle of that won't actually affect it. But one thing we need to do first of all is to actually hire another couple of guards. Because our guards are a little bit overstretched at the moment. Especially considering we now have... Um, a few too many prisoners for this uh, for this prison to handle. So uh, we're going to hire. I'm going to bring it up to eight guards because we previously had six. So we'll bring this up to eight guards now. One, two, and should we have five women? We could do with another cook, I suppose. Let's hire another cook there, and that should do actually from the staff side of things. The workshop's doing quite well. Uh, the laundry room wasn't, and the cleaning cupboard, they weren't doing very well at all in the um, in the previous day because, well, I think the cleaning cupboard, everything was broken or damaged, so we didn't get anything done there. Uh, the only other thing to mention is the food. So the food need is always in the red here, and the reason for that is because I had meal quantity and meal variety both set to low, so I've raised those both to medium. Now, that's going to cost me a little bit more per day. Uh, it's 12 dollars per day now instead of what was it before two dollars per day but if we yeah so it's that's a huge increase so it's an extra ten dollars per day per prisoner uh, which is an extra some like seven hundred dollars uh, that we're going to be spending on the prisoners but hopefully uh, that'll make them a little bit happier because the only real need at the moment is sleep and food uh, everything else we seem to be on top of so if we can sort that out for tomorrow morning we have the new variety and the new um, quantity of food then we should be good to go now I'm not going to buy anything else for the day just going to get those uh, few guards there did I get three or did I get two I can only see two new guards but that's not updated yet one two three five six seven eight there are eight but that one's dead so we need another guard uh, so let's go and go back to staff hire another guard shove them down there and hopefully when I unpause this and start playing it again uh, there will still be a little bit more money coming into the kitty um, so let's fast forward that yes license plates it went up a little bit more uh, all the money has gone into repairs straight away uh, because we really do need that some of this uh, some of these beds and well pretty much everything we need repairing at the moment um, but yeah we'll uh, we'll do a shakedown we'll probably find some holes some tunnels and then we're good to go really we really need the uh, the showers fixed though because uh, cleanliness is a little bit of an issue and I think that our some of our inmates are getting some knives on them which isn't too good because we're getting shivved a little bit I think what I'm going to do actually what do you reckon do you reckon we should turn off I reckon we should turn off prisoner intake for a day it's only eight but 67 out of 54 and this is going to be the first day with a couple of new guards so I think we'll close the prison intake for the day and uh, hopefully once we've got this workshop up and running a little bit better with everything is uh, actually working as expected when you know when everything's repaired and we've got a little bit of a variety in our meals we should be able to start making money without worrying you know because every, every night in the past, you know, the 20 episodes up until now, we're on day 27, now the 26 days before now, or 26 years, however you look at it, have been uh, a nightmare in terms of everything gets damaged overnight and or during the day and then all our money goes on repairs in the evening. So hopefully, now that we're actually sorting out the needs of our prisoners, we've got four TVs, one of them's 100% damaged, but we've got some TVs and some phone booths around. Uh, we've got the money coming from the workshop. We've actually got something for our prisoners to do now in terms of the laundry and the workshop and the cleaning. Hopefully, it won't be as bad as it used to be. And I can hear lots of clicking and lots of wrench. 
what do you do with wrenches? Wrench turning, I guess, in the background. So things must be getting repaired somehow. The laundry machines are both damaged. They were never actually repaired um, in the previous day. And we have searched everywhere except for Venning's room. And he's still sat there injured, which is good. Because we don't like Venning. He's a horrible person. And he's only served 26. I wish I could. I wish there was some way I could just execute him. I might have to build some sort of execution room. Uh, so let's slow this down a little bit. Let's start positioning our troops accordingly. Looks like there's already a fight. So let's get you guys involved in that. Like I said, hopefully this is going to be the last time we actually have one of these fights break out. Um, once they get into the canteen for their breakfast, they should see that there's a whole new variety and a whole new quantity of food for them all to eat. And we've still got a fight going on down here. Let's get another... Right, you two, straight to the infirmary, please, both of you. And hopefully these guys are actually going to enjoy their meals in the morning. And providing they actually enjoy their meals... Let's have a little look at the needs tab. Providing they all enjoy their meals, we should be really good to go. Uh, hygiene will be better once they have their free time as well, because obviously as soon as they wake up, instead of having a shower, which they should be doing, despite the fact that most of the showers are broken, uh, there are still some working showers, but instead of having a shower like they should be doing, they actually have a fight instead. Uh, if only they actually showered, then they wouldn't be so dirty. Now, food need is still a little bit over. Oh, we're auto saving. And what time is it? We've still got an hour left to eat, so hopefully, no, no one else is eating actually. Everyone that wanted food has eaten food. And anyone that didn't eat food at that time, I'm afraid that you've missed your chances now, guys. Let's just send our, our guys into the staff room for now. And have a very quick look at our guards, make sure that no one's injured. Nope, no one's injured. Fantastic. Okay. So let's fast forward a little bit. After eating is free time. So we've got a very low level of danger, but the serious complaints are coming from those prisoners that actually haven't bothered to actually turn up at the canteen because either they were injured or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, that's probably where most of the complaints are coming from. And hopefully, yeah, there's probably a fair amount of complaints coming from the fact that they're all dirty as well. Yes, look at that. Hygiene is going way down now. And now everyone's having a shower. So the actual danger level is decreasing quite rapidly while people take turns in the, uh, in the last couple of uh, working showers there. Right, so exercise, they're getting a bit of exercise. They're sorting out, they're talking to their families a little bit. Uh, even though they've destroyed a couple of these um, a couple of these phone booths, a couple of these TVs. Let's start thinking about, right, it's work time, so let's slow this down a little bit because it sounds like people are starting to get a bit rowdy. Hopefully they don't damage the TVs. Oh, it might just be, it's, it's just the odd prisoner that gets rowdy. And the reason for this is generally because they've been in custody when we've had breakfast time or something along those lines. It's uh, quite frustrating in that sense, right, you need to go to the infirmary. And let's start positioning. Oh no! We didn't get any sheet metal for the workshop. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We're not going to make any money from that today, are we? Okay, well. That's the thing. Unfortunate, but uh, nothing we can do about that now. It's because we spent all the money trying to repair everything and we didn't actually get anything repaired. Well, we repaired most of the beds, I believe. Um. But in the next episode, we'll uh, we'll have to spend some of our money repairing, and then actually spend the day with spend an actual day with some money. So let's fast forward here a little bit more, and uh, hopefully we won't see too many outbreaks of violence. I can hear people beating each other up. Uh oh.
Right, we need the full riot force up here now. Because this, uh, this guard is unconscious. And these guys seem to be glitching out a bit. And we need a policeman to sort out that policeman. There we go. He's taking him straight to the infirmary. That's good. Okay. You and you go back in there. You go to the infirmary. You can rest as soon as you're healed. This is the last thing we want to do. I mean, a tire guard, yeah, they will get hurt. But if you're already hurt, then you're just going to go down. Okay, it looks like everyone is. Let's double check the guards. Oh, there's one more injury. Oh, he's already at the infirmary. And he's fully healed up. Cool. Okay. So, yard time is going on for another hour. And then we've got an hour of free time and then a couple of hours of work. And I, I use the term loosely because there's actually not a lot of work for them to do. The, uh, the laundry machine, the washing machines are actually broken in the laundry room. The, uh, all of the cleaning goods are damaged and we don't have any sheet metal for them to work off in the workshop. Uh, the, the only people that will be working, in fact, are the people that will go to the kitchen. So, that's a thing. That's unfortunate. Let's start spreading these people out. And uh, the danger level's increasing, which is quite worrying, actually. They need sleep and food. And they need to talk to their families. So let's uh, slow this down a bit. I have a feeling that there's going to be a fight soon. Especially considering the uh, the volume's getting higher. He's already got his fists up. Look at that. Who's he? He's Paul Bailey. Putting his fists up. Getting ready for some fisticuffs. Right, let's just patrol this area a little bit. Oh, there's still a fight in here. Sort these guys out, come on. Yeah. It's just about being in the right place at the right time, guys. Sounds like there's another fight in here. Maybe, maybe not. Right, you go to the infirmary. You go to the infirmary. And we, that leaves us with three right guards, so let's position these guys around the cell block. Oops. Put you there. And the danger level is decreasing now, which is good. Uh, the family and recreation... I'm not sure why the recreation is not going down. TVs are there for you to watch, guys. You're free to go and watch them whenever you want. Uh, but they're on. I'm not sure why the family's going down because. Oh, there's. A, I suppose there's one person on the phone to his family. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, work time is a little bit useless at the moment. How many? If we turned on intake, how many would we get tomorrow? 22 tomorrow, so intake's going to remain off for tomorrow as well, I think. We'll uh, we'll probably ask that same question <laughs> at the beginning of the next episode. But for now, it's going to remain off. And now we're working again. Uh, I think we have been working for a while now. Let's just uh, move people up towards the kitchen just in case. Because last time we were working, or well, the previous day, we actually had a fire break out in the kitchen. Come on, guys, stop getting stuck on each other. There we go. Oh, they are actually cleaning. We are, we have actually got a couple of people cleaning now. Which is good. And uh, what time is eat time? We're nearly there. Food time is now. So let's move all of our... All of our right police into the canteen. And... Uh, Everyone should be grabbing a tray. Hopefully. Let's actually sort them out in terms of their food needs. Oh, look at that. That is brilliant. That is... That is amazing. I'm really happy with that. It was, uh, yeah. It was It was looking more like the sleep thing in the previous day, or even this morning. Uh, of the, the morning of, you know, today. Day 27. It was looking more like the uh, sleep need. 
But I'm not sure why the danger level is medium and increasing. Why would people have that many complaints about just oversleep? We have enough beds for everyone to sleep in, unless you've, it's because they've broken their own bed and they can't get a good night's sleep. And that's just silly. You know, I mean, come on, it's it's your bed, why would you break it? Right, let's, uh, let's just position our riot guards accordingly, in case there's some sort of fight breaking out. We have another hour of free time before bed. But I think we're good to go. doesn't look like we're actually going to be uh, having any more fights in the evening. I mean, the danger level is still increasing. In terms of the needs, though, it's just sleep that they need. And surely they know that it's uh, the bedtime is coming. Oh, there's a little bit of a fight. Okay, now it's sleepy time. All right, we've got an injured right guard, so let's send him off to the infirmary. None of our actual guards are injured at all, so that's good. And yes, it is definitely sleepy time. So hopefully, our prisoners will all go to bed. And they'll all get a little bit tired and they'll fall gently to sleep. And they won't pester me for another eight hours or so. Um, but they probably will. They'll probably wake up in the middle of the night and say, We want something from you. But uh, until that point, I'm going to bring the episode to a close. As ever, I'll say thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Bye bye now.